Hello Zwifters, welcome to a brand new episode of How to Run on Zwift. It's a very short one today. We're going to be looking at a brand new website. Now in cycling, for a long time now, cyclists have had the option to build their own workouts within the Zwift app. Unfortunately for running, we don't have that option yet. It is coming, it will come at some point, but we haven't got it yet. Now, if you're good at coding, you can code your own uh, ZWO workout files using a text editor, but most of us aren't that bright. And what we want is a nice graphic editor, a drag and drop editor to do it ourselves. And that is what we're looking at today. Uh, it is called the Zwift Workout Editor, and the website is very simple. It's zwiftworkout.com. So zwiftworkout.com, let's go and have a look at it. You come to the website here, and we're presented with this screen. Uh, now, there are various options. We want to definitely choose the sport type run, and we've got an option of creating a time-based workout or a distance-based workout. No power-based workouts yet. Zwift still doesn't yet support power uh, in running, so uh, we've got no power-based workouts, but it's great that we've got uh, distance and time-based workouts. So let's create a distance-based workout. Now, a good idea is to set some uh, times here. So let's say we want to create a workout based off our 5K time, then we would need to have our 5K time in here. Uh, so let's say uh, 0, uh, 20, 0, and that's our 5K time. Uh, let's also put our 10K time in here, let's say 40. Then we can choose for it to estimate our missing time. So let's do that. And it's guessed pretty well I can do a sub-30 half marathon. Uh, I haven't yet done a sub-three-hour marathon, but fingers crossed one day soon. Okay, so with workouts, we usually start with a warm-up. So let's stick a warm-up in there. Uh, this is a 1K warm-up, but uh, we can extend it to a 2K warm-up or a 3K warm-up. Let's stick with a 2K warm-up. Now, what we can do here is we can say, right, I want this workout based off my 5K time. So we go up here and we click here and it'll bring up our paces so we've got uh, 5k pace 10k pace etc so we're going to choose 5k pace so that now tells us that we're running 2k uh, 25 to 75 percent of our uh, 5k pace on a on a sliding scale as we go up the warm-up uh, let's say we want to do an interval session so we'll stick a block of intervals in there and uh, what do we want it based on again we want it based on our 5k pace and let's uh, stretch it out so that we have 200 meter distance and 800 meter recovery. Uh, but let's say we want a smaller recovery time. So we just reduce the recovery time here. And uh, what have we got? We've got a 200 meter interval and a 200 meter recovery time. Uh, and I think I want some more of those. So let's do a few more. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. So eight intervals, eight recoveries, and then let's have a cool down. Let's have a couple of kilometers of cool down. Uh, and let's make sure that's based off our 5K pace as well. So you do need to make sure that each section is based off the pace that you want it to be based off. 5K pace for the intervals, 5K pace for the, the warm down, and again for the warm up. So the intervals are going to be at 100% of our 5K pace. Now, interestingly, what else you can do is you can add text. So say I want to add a text event. Uh, we've just, we click the text event button here and uh, we get this text up here. Now we can move this to wherever we want. So let's say we want uh, a, an introduction. So that's gonna happen at 500 meters in. So you can see it says 500 meters there. Hello, welcome. Oh, I didn't spell that right. Hello, welcome along. Uh, and then we'll have another text event. So click that and we'll go to the start of the workouts. Now, the problem with this is you need it. What the developer needs to do is bring these text messages forward so we can see them on top of uh, the intervals. Uh, but we can type in here, uh, let's go and then let's have one at the end. We'll drag that across to the end. All finished, well done. 
So you can have text messages, you can have a warm up, you can have a cool down, you can basically build whatever workout you want. Again, let me just go back to these text messages here. Say I was having, uh, say I was doing a steady paced run. Now, if we were to do this and say we were to raise this and we're gonna run at 110% of our 5K pace, we're doing four kilometers at 110% of, oh, it says at one mile pace. So yeah, we need to change it, don't we? We need to remember to change it to 5K pace. Our text messages get hidden. So look, that text message there goes behind here. So we need the developer to uh, change that. We need Carlo to have a look at that so that the text messages are either higher up or in front of the intervals here. Uh, and once you've finished building your workout, uh, you can say you can delete it. Uh, you can save it. You can give it a title, new workout, a description, an author, and what kind of workout it is. So once you've saved your workout, you download it onto your computer. You press the the download button here. Download it onto your computer and then upload it to the workout folder of the Zwift app. Now, if you're running Zwift on an iPhone or an Android device. Uh, you, you'll need to have a laptop or, or a computer and you'll need to download the Zwift app onto your laptop or computer simply for the purposes of uploading the workouts to the workout folder. Once they're uploaded to the workout folder, it will propagate onto the cloud and then it'll be available in the workout folder on your iPhone and or your Android device or your Apple TV, whatever it might be that you use to run Zwift. <laughs> So that's it, that's the brand new graphic workout editor. Go to zwiftworkout.com and uh, set it for distance or time and you can create your own workouts using drag and drop. Very simple, very easy to use. Well done Carlo, thank you very much. We'll see you for another How to Run on Zwift very soon, bye bye.